Hello everyone, Bonafide666 here and welcome to another Minecraft video. Today we will be looking at redstone. Um, I don't know if you guys saw the last video where I showed off a redstone contraption but what I wanted to do was actually start um, a new kind of series where I'm just going to show you guys some real redstone basics and we are really talking, first episode here we are really talking basics. So first off, this here is a piece of redstone ore. You will find this underground in caves and when you mine it, I'll just get a diamond pickaxe there we go and um, when you mine it, now I'm in creative that's why <laughs> that didn't work but uh, when you mine it you get this a piece of redstone. Redstone when placed on the ground looks like so and that is what redstone can be used for is placing on the ground now redstone has a property it looks a bit like a wire and that is because it actually can hold the current so if you take a piece of redstone and uh, I'm just looking for a stick there we go. because if you take a piece of redstone and a stick and you put in a crafting bench like so you will get a redstone torch which is one of these and if we just get the redstone again this will be a little bit um, difficult maybe to understand to begin with but you see when I put down a redstone torch these light up so this outputs a signal and that turns this on this is one of the ways you can power redstone the other ways you can power it, power it are either via a lever which once again has an either on or off position actually just to make this comp uh, as simple as possible and also so you can really see when it's on or off let me just put in some lamps so as you can see when this is there it turns on and here it turns on and turns back off again and the other ways you can do it see there's one there's, there's a couple of more ways you can do it you can do it with a pressure plate I'm just going to show the wooden one but um, both a wooden and a stone one will do and when you step on it it will light up oh, it will light up the redstone lamp so if you have a look there see now that lit up as soon as I step off it a little bit of lag on it but there we go you can also do it by putting in a button so if I just get a button here there we go and put the button in there we go but as you can see the button only generates a pulse so that means it turns on and then automatically turns off again so you won't get a continuous signal from that um, I'm just quickly thinking if there is any other way you can power it I am not sure don't th oh you can power it with trip uh, trip wire let me just quickly show you that I need some string that materials maybe string yes go so we can put down a block and a block oh, I think we need at least there we go and there and there and string in the middle and I think it's like this I'm actually I haven't worked that much with the trip wires so I'm not completely sure if this will work but um, let me see Yep, so if you step on the trip wire, it'll turn on and off. Right, so that's the ways you can use it to turn off. Now, redstone can be used for a lot of things. One of them, of course, is turning on lamps. Another use for it would be to either power a door, if I can find them somewhere. Uh, door, 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 door. Door. Um, where the hell is the door? Building blocks? No. Decoration blocks. Door. I have a feeling it should be in here. No. It's not in building blocks, is it? Nope. I will find it. Just bear with me a second. I will find it. There it is. Found my door. As you can see, if we put down a door, and we then put in the next to the button. See? The door will then open and close again. So that is one way also to use redstone. Now, 
Redstone does have some properties that are quite interesting and all, but also very important to actually um, find out. So if we do the, you know what, let's let's continue with those uh, trip wires. Oh no, no, no just, just do levers. I've got two levers here already, so if we put down a lever here and another lever here, then we place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and one of these. And if we then again put down one, two, three, four, five, all the way down to fifteen, but this time make it one further, I think I've counted correctly, hopefully. Um, because redstone can only travel so far, let me see that one turns on, that one does not as you can see the farther we get away from the signal it kind of, uh, it doesn't light up as much so and when you get to here you can actually see this one uh, it is pretty hard to see but this one has no lighting on it at all actually if I turn my particles on I do think you can see it a bit better particles all done and back to game now you can see that it's actually glowing and this one isn't so that means that the redstone signal can only go 15 blocks away and then power the 16th so 15 and then you can put something there if you put 16 down it won't power it there is a way to get around this though because you can um, build something called a repeater now a repeater is this right here um, and what that does quite simply is if we do this again again and then make oh that was string and then make it go down here to the 16 blocks and then somewhere along the line let's say here we put in a repeater then we can power it and as you can see now it's getting power because this one here takes in the signal and throws in it's kind of like throwing in a new signal out, so, but if you look at it, it has redstone torches in it, so it is powering it again. So from here you would be able to go 15 blocks again. So that's the way to make the signal to go even further. Now next thing I want to show you is how to, um, how to move redstone up and down, because you can of course move redstone as we've seen like this, but let's say we have this is just like a theoretical thing so we have a redstone lamp right here and what we want to do is we want to power it now one would think you could just put it on the walls but no that isn't possible so to get redstone up you can either do it like a staircase which means we go like that and redstone can oh, I'll just throw that string down there go up here up and you see it's still not getting power now that's because I did the stairs wrong because I'm smart like that so we'll try that again one there one there and one in between there we go so then one 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 now if we turn this one on it's just for good measure put it there see now that powers it another way to power the same mechanism which is a bit more um, space saving is to put in a see there and have this going all the way in here powering this block and then putting in a resistant torch there because now you can see it's off and it's on and that is a lot more um, time saving right I think that is going to be all for this episode next time I will be showing you how to make something called an AND gate and an OR gate plus some other stuff and also this map I'll continue to um, be making it on the same map so I will also be uploading the map so if you guys have anything you would like to try or have a look at of some of the stuff I've done I will then uh, upload it so you can play around with it yourself right my name was bonafide and um, this has been a redstone tutorial 101 episode one and expect a lot more of these uh, they will be getting harder and harder this is very very basic but it's better than that to start really really basic because people might not always know the basic stuff 
and you need the basic stuff to be able to understand the difficult stuff. So, my name, as I said, was Bonafide, and I hope you all have a good day, a good night, a good evening, and... N whoa, it just got night time. <laughs> and now all the creepers and stuff are out, right. Well, have a good one, and until next time, bye.